Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to look at boundaries and boundary groups. So if you want to know more about those, stay tuned. Okay, so talk about boundaries in boundary groups. Here we have some documentation. So I think you should read. But the three one I want to show you is first overview of boundaries and boundary groups. Explain what boundaries are, boundary groups, how to use. Talks about overlapping. And wait a little bit. The second one is about information about boundary groups in configuration manager and on the how to configure the boundary group. So those three documentation are pretty good, but what exactly are boundary and boundary group? So first thing is boundary. Boundary, I'd say, is your physical network. So when we talk about boundary, we are talking about IP subnet, Active Directory site, uh, site name, uh, IPv6, uh, and IP range. And from the 2006 version we have here, uh, it, they added a VPN option as well. But this is just information. So boundary, we don't basically use it for anything. It's just boundary. So it's there. If you're not using in a boundary group, it's just basically useless. But boundary, put as your address, is your home address. Um, door number, flat number, uh, uh, avenue, road, whatever it may be, is your address. And then we have the boundary group. Boundary group is going to get that collection of one or multiple boundaries and tell how that boundary will behave in Configuration Manager. If we think about the address back, it would be our postcode. One postcode is going to have multiple roads. One postcode is going to be have maybe not even multiple roads, but at least multiple um, house numbers or house names for the same physical location. So this is what boundary and boundary group connect. But boundary group in Configuration Manager allows you to, allows the Configuration Manager client to connect to a server. So for example, imagine that you have three physical locations, Amsterdam, New York, and London. You don't want the computers in London suddenly start going to uh, New York to connect to the distribution point. You don't want, because the distribution point here is usable, you don't want them crossing the one. Exactly the same, you don't want to crossing the one to Amsterdam to get the content from there. You want to use the local content. But if the local content is not there or the local content is dead, so the server is dead, you can say, oh, my, my fallback after a certain period of time is Amsterdam, do not go to New York, or go to New York and not Amsterdam. So this is where boundary and boundary groups comes in Configuration Manager. You basically are telling a set of IP addresses, IP address range, uh, Active Directory, uh, 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 Active Directory site name, uh, VPN, stuff like that, can connect to a specific servers. So in this case, I'm going here to the Configuration Manager server on the Configuration Manager console, Administration, Hierarchy and Configuration, and here we have Boundaries. So I'm going to create three, or actually, I'm going to create four boundaries. One for or training for London, one for Amsterdam, and two for New York. Just for you to see how we can put those things together in a boundary group later on. So for boundary, just create here, create boundary or right click, create boundary. And I'm going to create here London. And I'm going to put here the IP address range. And in this case, 172.16.254.1217.216.254.254. So this is my London IP range. 
I'm going to do the similar thing with Amsterdam. And in this case here, I'm going to do 192.168.01. And for um, New York, I'm going to do 10.0. Um, Ten dot zero dot zero dot one, and they have two different areas: to ten dot zero to ten dot three, and ten dot ten to ten dot twenty, for example. So I'm going to put ten dot three two five four. So what I'm saying is, any IP address from ten dot zero zero one to ten dot three two five four two five four is going to be on that specific location. This includes 10.0.1, that.0.2, and so on. And the second one, let's do a similar thing. And this is going to be New York 10.10. .10. And IP range 10.10.01 to 10.20.254. Okay, so I have two sets of IP addresses or multiple sets of IP addresses in two different boundaries. A for New York, one for London, and one for Amsterdam. So now it's time to put those things together and tell which server they can connect and what the fallback to elsewhere will be. So the first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to create a boundary group. If you want a small location, let's say one boundary only, uh, one physical location, you could use the default site boundary. You don't need to use them uh, uh, anything else. But if you were thinking about have multiple physical location that using boundaries and boundary group is recommended. So let's create a boundary group. In this case, I will call London. And here, how my boundaries, and I have only 172 boundary. So select it and click OK. I could do right now here in references, uh, which server it can connect to, but I will do it shortly. Now let's do exactly the same for New York. But New York, we have now two. Is it 10.0 and 10.10? And the last one is going to be Amsterdam. In Amsterdam, I have here the 192. So you can see here, I have member count one, one, and two because New York has two boundaries. So now let's think about uh, London. What exactly we want to do? London needs to connect to a specific set of servers. Which are those servers? If we go here on site configuration servers, I have here server 04. Server 02 is the SQL, so the client does, does not need to connect to the SQL. Server 03 is our site server, the configuration manager server. So again, the configuration manager client do not need to connect there. And the server 04, we have the distribution point and measuring point. This is where the client will connect to. So what we are going to use, server 04. So I'm going to here in boundaries, uh, sorry, boundary group, here for London, properties. And here in reference, I'm going to tell which server that set of computers on these um, subnets or IP ranges or boundaries, basically, they will be able to connect to. In this case, I'm going to add server 04. And now imagine, for example, server 04 is down. What's going to happen? If you have a multiple server, let's imagine that server 06 in Amsterdam, serv uh, server 05 in Amsterdam, 06 and 07 in New York. You could say, fall back to another boundary. So this is where the relationship comes in. I can say here, if I'm unable to connect to the server 04 for the boundary, where I'm going to, and here I could say, go to Amsterdam, but only after 120 minutes for distribution point, maybe more time for software update point, stuff like that. Or you can say, never fall back to that specific set of server. For example, never fall back to software update point on a distribution point. This is where you decide exactly what you're doing. So in this case, they're going to cancel. We are not going to do 
any relationship, and I'm going to click close. So as soon as you click close, you can see here on site system count, I have now for London one, the others remain zero. Basically, I mean that specific IP subnet 172.16.254 or IP range 172.16.254.1.172.16.254.254 will be able to connect to server 04. Okay, so we had a look what boundary boundary uh, group is or are. If you still have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Just use the hashtag AskRafael. And if you like the video, got any value, just remember to smash the like button. And I hope to see you on the next one. Take care.